Do you know what is GUI? GUI means Graphical User Interface. Yes, in this lecture we are going to learn software interface of QGIS. In QGIS interface we have seven components. Let's see one by one. This component is known as menu bar. Below the menu bar we have toolbar. On the left side we have site toolbar which is also known as manage layers toolbar. This portion is known as panel. There are two types of by default panel in QGIS. This one is layers panel and this one is browser panel. This portion is known as map view which is also known as map canvas. Below the interface we have status bar. On the bottom left corner we have locator bar. Now let's discuss about the seven components one by one in detail. First one is menu bar. The menu bar provides access to various QGIS functions by using a standard hierarchical menu. Menu bar contains 13 menus project, edit, view, layer, settings, plugins, vector, raster, database, web, mesh, processing, and help. Now let's see toolbar which is exist below the menu bar. Toolbar provides access most of the same functions which are exist in menu bar plus additional tools also exist in toolbar which can be used for interacting with map. Each and every toolbar has pop-up function by which we can easily understand the purpose of this toolbar. Say if you hover your mouse over the item inside any toolbar you will see a short description about that particular tool. Say, if I hover over this item, it is showing layer labeling options. This one is layer diagram. This one is identify features. So in this way, we can easily understand the name and purpose of each toolbar. Not only that, we can move any toolbar around this interface based on our need. Even if we right click on this toolbar, we will get a context menu in where we can easily switch on off any toolbar. Say in this context menu, this portion is responsible for toolbar switched on off. If I uncheck attributes toolbar, it will hide this attribute toolbar. Let's see, uncheck this. See, attribute toolbar is invisible now. What we can do to make this visible again? Again, just right click on the toolbar, check attributes toolbar. We can do the same also by using menu bar. From menu bar, go to view, then toolbar. From here, we can easily check uncheck any toolbar to make this switched on or off. See, it is invisible again. Let's make this visible. Now let's see site toolbar which is also known as manage layers toolbar. In QGIS interface by default manage layer toolbars is loaded as a site toolbar but we can move this toolbar around the interface in where we feel comfortable for use it. Manage layers toolbar contain all types of functions used to add layer or load any layer. See, this one is used for add vector layer, this one to add raster layer, this one is for add mesh layer, add delimited text layer, add facial light layer, this one is add or edit virtual layer, this one is for add post GIS layer, add WMS or WMTS layer, add WCS layer, 
add WFS layer and create a new shapefile layer. So this is side toolbar. Now let's see panels. There are by default two types of panel in QGIS. One is layers panel and another one is browser panel. When we add any layer, say shapefile, vector layer, raster layer, it will be listed inside these layer panels. We can also switch on off this layers panel by right click context menu. In here, this panel portion is responsible to hide or visible this layer panel. Say, if we uncheck this, the layers panel is invisible. We can make this visible also by using menu bar. Go to view, inside view, go to panels, in here, check layers panel here we get back our layers panel second one is browser panel which is responsible to browse any layer or any project file of qgis say you can add any shape file or any layer or any qgis project in your this interface instantly so this is the power of qgis you can also add any layer or project file without open any add data as like arcgis Say I want to open another project file of QGIS. Say this is a project of QGIS which name is USA. If I want to open this project in the same interface, all we need to do is just click in this project and drag this in this map view. You can save or discard this previous one. Here we have opened our USA project file. See, this project file contains South Dakota, New, USA City Point, and USA States, these layers. After add this layer, these are listed inside this layers panel. In another software, we need to open the data or open the project. But in QGIS, we have a browser from where we can drag any project, we can drag any layer inside this interface. So this is the power of browser panel. So these two are by default panels of QGIS. But we have also another panels in QGIS which we can see by right click context menu. In this right click context menu in panel portion we can see another panels. These are another panels of QGIS but these two are by default panel of QGIS. Let's see one by one advanced digitizing panel browser panel 2, GPS information panel, layer order panel, layer styling panel, log message panel, overview panel, processing toolbox panel, results viewer panel, special bookmarks panel, statistics panel, tile scale panel, and undo redo panel. So this is all about panels. Thank you.